Hi everyone, today from my kitchen I'm going to show you how we can prepare mafruke. Mafruke is semolina dessert. First layer is going to be semolina mixture and uh, topped with uh, cream. So I'm going to show you how we can prepare the cream as well. So let's get started with the ingredients for the first layer that um, mafruke. So we need one cup of semolina, one cup of water, the water should be warm, and one cup of sugar. We need quarter cup of ghee you can use butter instead of ghee but i prefer ghee tastes so yummy and here i have one tablespoon of rose water mixed with one tablespoon of blossom water oh by the way this is the pink is rose water so you can just buy them clear and also you can buy them like this rose color so let's get started preparing that first layer i'm going to caramelize that sugar and then show you how we can prepare the first um the first layer and after that we can prepare the ashta okay so in a pan i'm going to caramelize the sugar here i'm going to add the sugar and keep stirring them until they become brown and like caramel Okay, so after the sugar caramelized, now what I'm going to do, I need to add the one cup carefully of the water, but make sure the water is uh, warm, not cold, okay? So keep mixing them. Okay, and keep mixing them until everything dissolved very good okay so now i'm going to leave those separate and then i'm going to and then i'm going to start frying these semolina okay so i have to fry the cup of semolina until the color change So do not leave them, keep stirring them. Okay, so this is after four minutes. Now what I'm going to do, I need to add the ghee and fry these semolina with the ghee as well. Oh, the ghee smells so yummy. Wow. Yeah, the color start to change okay so now we can add the rose water So now after we fry this semolina with the ghee with the rose water now I'm going to put these semolina oh, sorry I'm going to add the uh, caramel on them and mix them very good Just add them bit by bit okay Okay, so after we put the caramel, now I'm going to keep mixing them for about four or five minutes until they get, until the mixture gets thicker. All right, as you can see, this is this is what we want. So now I'm going to move to the other side and pour these um, semolina mixture and leave them to cool down. Okay, so now you can pour them in a cups. You can pour them uh, like in a um, you know tray like this one so you can just decorate the top the way how you like also you can pour them in a you know any any tray that you like i'm going to put them here just to fold them and then after that i'm going to move move them on a plate so now smooth the top 
and leave them for about half an hour to cool down so that's what i'm going to do in that time i'm going to show you how we can prepare the ashta a proper ashta so delicious okay guys so for the ashta we need first to get this clotted cream and after that i'm going to show you how we can prepare the ashta so here i have one liter of milk so i'm going to heat the milk and then add on them like one small teacup so like three tablespoons of white vinegar you can use instead of this white vinegar half a lemon so squeeze half a lemon then i don't want them to be boiled and uh, also so i don't want the milk to be boiled and uh, all what i need is to heat the milk and then after that add this um white vinegar okay so after i heated the milk now i'm going to add the white vinegar on them and then stir them like this so as you can see the milk changed and that's what we want the clotted cream okay so now i'm going to strain this uh, clotted cream or milk here in a strainer i'm going to put them separately All right. Okay. If okay, so leave this ashta uh, or this clotted cream to drain, and I'm going to show you the rest of the ashta. Okay, so in a pan, I'm going to add two cups of milk. Here I have one cup. I'm going to add and another one. Okay, so for each cup of milk, I'm going to add one tablespoon of corn flour and one tablespoon of sugar. So here we added two cups of milk, so two tablespoons of rose, um, corn flour, two tablespoons of sugar. I'm going to mix them very good just to make sure the corn flour dissolves in the milk. And then turn on the cooker. And then put them on high heat, keep stirring them, don't leave them until the mixture gets thicker. Okay, also I'm going to add on them one tablespoon of rose water. Okay, so after the mixture get thickened, now as you can see, they need a little bit more. Alright, and after that I'm going to add on them that clotted cream that we prepared okay so this clotted cream will give the ashta a delicious taste okay mix them very good for a few seconds and then turn off the cooker okay now the ashta is ready Okay guys, so now I'm going to pour the ashta on top of this uh, semolina. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in the fridge for about one hour to get chilled and after that I'm going to, to uh, I'm going to um, decorate the top with toasted nuts, also crushed pistachio and I'll see after so that. So now I, here I have, I'm going to decorate the top with crushed pistachio and uh, toasted almond also toasted cashew you can add any kind of nuts that you like also you can just add pistachios but uh, you have to fry these with the ghee i fry them with the ghee also you can just put them in the oven if you want you can roast them so it's up to you okay now what i'm going to do i need to take off this mafruke just open this tray all right carefully Woo. okay now I'm going to decorate the top with uh, with the nuts so here I have the cashews Yay! 
you can just decorate it the way how you like first I'm going to make like plus sign okay and now I'm going to add pistachios here Wow, you can add as much as you like, okay, perfect, and also I'm going to add here some toasted almond, okay, Uh oh great and here I'm going to add as well pistachios okay and on this one I'm going to add the rest of the uh, nuts wow okay and here in the middle I should put some uh, orange blossom but I don't have and it's very hard to find them so that's why I'm going to add a little bit of strawberry jam just for decoration so just for decoration and just put a little bit here and then put casual on them okay here we go guys so now the mafruki is ready to be eaten but now I'm fasting so I'm going to break my fasting and then I can taste it uh, so what I'm going to do the final step I'm going to drizzle some syrup you can just leave it as it is and then add syrup when you serve it and also you can just drizzle some syrup now like so all right that looks so yummy and looks absolutely delicious guys i hope you enjoy look at this beautiful color and uh, oh my goodness it smells so yummy with the toasted um almonds and the cashews the pistachios it looks absolutely delicious and i hope you like it hope you find this recipe easy so please thumbs up if you enjoy and i hope uh you try it let me know what you think about it in your comment down below and by the way the recipe is you can find it if you want to try it you can find the recipe in the description box down below if you want to try it so guys see you soon in my next video and i hope you enjoy by the way thanks for watching bye